This is from Surah Maryam. وَأَوْصَانِي بِالصَّلَاةِ وَالزَّكَاةِ مَا دُمْتُ حَيَّا My Lord has firmly commanded me, my Lord has firmly commanded me to pray, offer salah, and zakah to give charity, مَا دُمْتُ حَيَّا As long as I am alive. So this is from Surah Maryam, Surah number 19, ayah number 31. وَأَوْصَانِي بِالصَّلَاةِ وَالزَّكَاةِ مَا دُمْتُ حَيَّا My Lord has firmly commanded me to pray and to give charity or to purify myself as long as I am alive. مَا دُمْتُ حَيَّا As long as I remain alive. This is a statement of Isa alayhi salam. This is a very powerful reminder about our approach to prayer and how we approach prayer and how we perceive and think and how we implement prayer in our lives. You see, we're supposed to pray, it's saying, as long as I am alive. Till my last breath, I am committed to salah, to prayer. Now what does that exactly mean? It means no matter what comes up, prayer is something that I will hold on to till my last breath. I will concern myself with till death. And the Prophet ﷺ demonstrated this. He lived this. Now, this isn't just theory. This isn't something just fancy to say. It's not just a fancy slogan. The Prophet ﷺ lived it. You know, a, about a week before the passing of the Prophet ﷺ, he fell very ill. He became ill. And the Prophet ﷺ was incapable of standing up and even walking on his own very soon after. So the Prophet ﷺ, what he did... He would send for a couple of Sahaba to come to his home to get him. All right? And the hadith actually mentions you, Hadi bayn ithnain. He would be carried in between two people. Yeah, and what that word you hadi means in classical Arabic is, you know when you have trouble walking on your own and you put your arms around like two people's like necks, two people's shoulders, and they kind of carry you and walk with you like this? Right? That's called you hadi bayn ithnain. To kind of stumble and walk and to be led by two people. So the Prophet ﷺ would send for two Sahaba, they would come to his home, and they would carry him, he'd put their, his arms around their shoulders, and they would literally carry him to the prayer like this. But he would still go for prayer. And subhanAllah, something beautiful, and rather something very profound that we find in that narration, we know about the Prophet ﷺ, he was a little bit taller than the average individual. When he was standing in a group of people, he was just a little bit taller than everybody. He wasn't freakishly tall, like he wasn't like seven feet tall, but he was just a little bit taller than your average person. And so the hadith actually mentions that while they would be leading him because he was a little bit taller than them, his feet would be dragging on the ground behind him. His feet would be dragging on the ground behind him. But he'd still go for prayer in this condition. He'd still go to pray like this. Teaching us, prayer is something we do till our last breath. Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu. Can anyone tell me how he passed away? He was stabbed while he was leading the prayer. Alright, he was stabbed while he was leading the prayer. The narration goes on to tell us that Umar has this big open wound. He has literally a hole in his stomach. And he's lying there and he's bleeding out and he's fading in and out of consciousness. And then while he's in that state and in that condition, he hears the call, the adhan for prayer. And he starts getting up. Everyone around him is like, oh, wait a second, where, where do you think you're going? He says, I have to go pray, the adhan. I have to go and pray, it's the adhan. And he said, you're dying. You have a hole in your stomach. What do you mean you're going to go pray? And he says that, I remember the Prophet ﷺ telling me that there's no deen for the one who doesn't pray. That the salah is like the head and the body. I have to go and pray. This was, this was the commitment that these people had to prayer. As long as I'm alive, salah is something I do. That's the commitment, the, the connection that they had with prayer. And that's what this is talking about.